Well, hello, everyone. I got a word from God to give you. It's in Hebrews 8, chapter 8, verse 3. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle? For see, saith he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to thee in the mount. So what God is saying is all his priests that are ordained to speak for him, to do any healings for him, Number one, are necessary for that time and that place. There is a great need wherever God sends his chosen priests. He does not send women. <laughs> right, I'm going to say it again. He sends his priests. Right. And it's specific. Right, not priestess. So, the priests are to offer the sacrifices, the burnt offerings, because they are the ones ordained by God to do so. The priests and the priests alone, not just any old Joe Schmo. Right. Because the priest is who God is paying attention to. He smells a beautiful smell a beautiful essence it's beautiful in his sight and in his nostrils to smell his ordained priest to make a sacrifice to him a burnt offering to him whatever that sacrifice is that god calls for or that his priest deems exquisite acceptable appealing to god is what excites him when a priest knows what God wants and gives that to God as an offering it's more exciting than a regular burnt offering because God already knows that that's going to be seasoned and all of that stuff the way he like it and I'm not talking about meat right not an animal meat right so when you give God when his priest his chosen priest his ordained priest give him what they know he likes Without him knowing that they're going to give it to him. God gets highly excited. Now that is the smell that's beautiful in his nostrils. Right. You know how I was thinking about making spaghetti. And wanted it so bad. But them beans and rice just hit the spot. Right. It was just right on time. Right. That, that frozen that yogurt was good. Regular. But it was just on the spot. On the money. On the mat. When I froze it slightly yesterday. Right. That excited me. It was awesome. And that's how God gets when... His chosen priests give him that burnt offering that he didn't expect. Right? The thing that he likes, he adores, his priest gives him without telling him that he's going to give it to him. God gets so excited. But he had, but now he have obtained a more excellent ministry. By now much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. So God understood that his first covenant was flawed. So he made another one. It's already been done through Jesus. Jesus is the second covenant. So Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light to God point blank period nobody else not me no priest no guru no anybody so jesus is the way that you're gonna like accept him as your lord and savior that's the only way to god and back through baptism as well so with that being said you have to understand jesus has to be accepted in your heart wholeheartedly and you have to get baptized right and it has to be proper you got to 
I mean, with that baptism, you begin to live properly. So have a beautiful day.